Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. As usual, before we start our lesson, kita ni akan mulakan dengan berselawat ke atas Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam selama dua minit. Mari kita ni sama-sama membaca tiga niat penting sebelum memulakan selawat ke atas Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yang pertama, kami niatkan selawat kami untuk memenuhi perintah Allah Subhanahu wa taala. Yang kedua, kami niatkan selawat kami untuk memenuhi hak Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam dan yang ketiga, kami niatkan selawat kami untuk mendapat syafaat Rasulullah di akhirat kelak. 2 minutes from now. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammad 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 محمد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال 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 محمد محمد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد دعاء sebelum belajar بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Allahumma ftah alayna hikmataka wanshur alayna min hazaini rahmatika ya arhamar rahimin Ya Allah, bukakanlah ke atas kami hikmat-hikmatmu dan limpahilah ke atas kami khazanah rahmatmu Wahai yang maha permurah lagi maha penyayang. Rabbish rahli ya sadri wa yassir li amri wahlul uqdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli Ya Rabku, lapangkanlah untukku dadaku dan mudahkanlah untukku urusanku dan Lepaskanlah kekakuan dari lidahku Supaya mereka mengerti perkataanku Amin Ya Rabbil Alamin In this session we will discuss about perimeter and area of plant figure And we just focus with kite because We skip for the other plant figures As we already learned that one during year 7 But later on, we will do some revision about that area and perimeter of the other perimeter and area of plant figures. Okay, but right now, we just focus with kite. Now, can you please get ready with your notes, page 55 until 58, and your worksheet, page 50. Now, our learning objectives. At the end of lesson, students should be able to 
solve problems that involve the perimeter and area of land figures, uh, specifically height. Okay. Here will be our S2S, our steps to success. First, know that perimeter is about adding lengths of all sides. Second, remember the formula to find area of kite. And last one, solve the question given. Next, this slide show you about the formula of finding the perimeter and area of a kite. And remember, perimeter means we need to add all sides. Okay. We need to add all lengths. So for the perimeter of a kite, we add this x plus x plus y and plus y. And, and focus with this area. It is very new to all of you. And for area of a kite, we have half times df and eg are diagonal. Okay. I repeat myself. Df and eg are diagonal line. Okay, so DF is here, DF is here, and EG is here. So, in order for you to find the area of a kite, you need to know the length for the diagonal lengths, okay? Both of the diagonal lengths, okay? You need to know the value for DF, and you need to know the value for EG, okay? Then multiply half, you will get the area of the kite. Okay, let us try this example one. A kite is having its equal side as 12 cm and 15 cm respectively. Find its perimeter. It's quite easy. It's just about perimeter. So I will give you two minutes to try. One minute left. Okay, now let us discuss the solution. Here is the shape of a kite. Okay, so we have equal side for 12 and 15 respectively. So BC will equal to CD, so 12. AB is equal to AD, that is 15. So perimeter, we need to add them all. And because we have 2 12, so 2 times 12, plus we have 2 15, so 2 times 15, right? 2 times 12 will be 24, plus 2 times 15 will be 30, so you add them up, your answer will be 54 centimeter. I repeat myself, the answer you should get will be 
54 centimeter. Example 2. The sides of a kite are in the ratio of 3 to 5. If the side smaller among them is 24 centimeter, find its perimeter. I want you to try first these questions. Be careful. These questions involve with ratio. So the shorter length should be 3 and the longer length should be 5. So here we're using smaller. So the smaller length should be 3 and the longer length will be 5. So how are you going to handle these questions? Okay, you try first 2 minutes from now. One minute left. Okay, now, the solution for your step one, okay, here we need to get the length first, so we will use the ratio 3 to 5, and as mentioned from the statement given, we are given the smaller length, so we are given that 24 of the smaller length will be 3. Okay. And if we use this method, equivalent method, what 3 times what will give you 24? Okay. 3 times what will give you 24? So the answer will be times with 8. So both of the side will be times by 8. Therefore, your x will be your x will be five times a, which is forty. Okay, so the longer length will be forty. And back to our perimeter of kind, you can draw the kind and you can label all the lengths. Okay, like this, you label. All of the length, so the perimeter will be 24 plus 24 plus 40 plus 40. Or you can write like this. 2 bracket 24 plus 2 bracket 40. And you should get 48 plus 80. And your final answer will be 128 centimeter. Therefore, your final answer is... 128 centimeter. Okay.
find the area of the kite whose diagonal lengths are 16 cm and 10 cm. And now, for example 3, we move to the area and you can apply the formula given which is half times diagonal 1 times diagonal 2. And I would like you to try first, so 2 minutes from now. One minute left. Okay, now, let us discuss the solution. Apply the formula to find the area of a kite. Half time diagonal 1 times diagonal 2. So, here we are given the diagonal lengths, which are 16 and 10. So, just use this value and multiply with half. Okay, so here the area will be half times 16 times with 10 and you should get 80 square centimeter okay and the final answer will be 80 square centimeter next move to example 4 still with kite and here we need to find the other length of the diagonal so Apply the formula area equal to half times diagonal 1 times diagonal 2. So here the diagonal 2 is missing. So how are you going to use that formula to solve these questions? Okay, you try first two minutes from now. One minute left.
Okay, now, as usual, you apply the formula. And then, just represent any alphabet for the missing diagonal. Okay, so I will represent this way for the other missing diagonal. So, here I write 1 out of 2 is the original formula, times with 21, times with y. And next, we already know the area, so substitute that A into 136. And then, you should get y equal to 2 out of 21 times 126. Why here 2 out of 21? Because of multiplicative inverse. Okay, because of multi multiplicative inverse. And then you solve, you should get 12. Therefore, your final answer will be 12. Last example before we stop. In this example, we have two questions. First, you need to find the perimeter. And second one, you need to find the area of the kind. And it must be in square centimeter. Okay. If we see the lengths for this kind, all of them are in centimeter. So, it will be easy for you to calculate the area and give the answer in square centimeter. Okay. And I want you to try first. So, two minutes from now. Another one minute. Okay, now, let us discuss the solution for part A, perimeter, so we add all of the sides, so 10 plus 10 plus 17 plus 17, you should get 54 centimeter. Okay, and for part B, you, you need to apply the formula, area equal to half times the diagonal, we have diagonal here, so 16, okay. And then 21, 15 plus 6, right? And your answer should be 168. So this will be the last part for our session. And don't forget to complete your notes and your worksheet. As usual, we will end our session by resetting dua. Thank you so much and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Doa selepas belajar. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Allahumma inni astaudi'uka 
ma'alam tani farduthu ilayya indaha jati ilayhi wala tansani ya rabbal alamin ya allah Sesungguhnya aku menitipkan padamu ilmu-ilmu yang telah engkau ajarkan kepadaku dan kembalikanlah kepadaku sewaktu aku memerlukannya kembali dan janganlah engkau lupakan aku kepada ilmu itu wahai Tuhan yang memiliki semesta alam amin